Tragedies and traumatic memories pose a very big dilemma for people during the holiday time. On the one hand, there's tremendous pressure uh, that they have to feel and look good and take part in all the celebrations going on. But deep inside their gut, you know, they are wrenched and torn apart. They feel guilty. So I think the best way is to customize your holiday celebration. Don't feel the pressure that you have to have this grand big holiday. Take time out for yourself. Uh, take time out to remember uh, loved ones that were lost in a tragedy or uh, uh, that you lost uh, due to other reasons. Perhaps do something in their honor or memory. It can be something as simple as a couple of minutes of silence, remembrance. It could be something like donating to their favorite charity. I think every person has a right to decide to do what they are in the mood to do after discussions with their own family. There is no need for everyone to feel that they have to celebrate. From every tragedy, there can be some good things that come out of it. So tragedy can be a call for action. For example, in this case, instead of focusing so much on replaying this tragic event over and over again, maybe people can spur themselves to action. Maybe you can volunteer for a, uh, a gun control uh, group. Maybe you can channel those energies in a positive way so that these memories then become healthy and constructive for society rather than becoming destructive. I think the key is to make sure that uh, you're not forcing yourself to do something uh, that is a disconnect with what you feel inside. Uh, talk it over with your family members ahead of time. Come to some common agreement as to what is the best way to remember the holidays as well as the person who was lost.